Alright, Skip goes back on the long drive. It's going nighttime already. He <laughs> literally got into the game and the night is creeping in. What are you? Uh, you're a tree. Okay. So night's creeping in. Same adventure as always. Oh, Karen. Thank God you're still here. It's been a day. Alright. So we gotta get to 345 on this here uh oh dumbator. Um but we're gonna sleep maybe through the night. I can't sleep yet? Okay, we're gonna turn the lights on. Turn the brights on. It's like we're gonna blind anybody, and we'll just drive. Start. I did notice this light back here. I never, I never messed with. Look at this. Karen, you're falling on the floor, baby. Come here, baby. Okay, there we go. Ugh. All right. So we're gonna go f 50 kilometers or more. You know the drill. How is everybody? Get ready. We gotta take the parking brake off. I can't, can't drive with the parking brake on. All right. Someone says I need to buff my car one more level. I, I don't know if that's true. I, I have to check that out. Maybe we'll see if we can find a sponge and give her a buff. Hey, there's that car. You want to race, buddy? <laughs> Come on, buddy. Ghost car. Ghost car. What what are you what are you doing, bro? <laughs> Where are you going? It's a ghost trabant of the long drive. I can still see you over there. What what are you up to? Don't hit that rock! Are you gonna cross my road? Is this what's gonna happen? You're gonna hit that telephone pole. Oh, it's so weird seeing another car out here. See you around, bud! <laughs> don't don't get any don't get lost out there. Oh, we hit that tree. Okay, we're fine now. Alright. 50 kilometers or more, that's always the drill. We got about 15 liters of gas. We're making good time on our journey. Well, so far. Uh, the long drive home is going to be a problem. I may just get a broom by the end of this and fly home. And fly home in one episode. Just one giant long episode of flying. If I could ever figure out how to fly that thing without crashing. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, here we go. We're doing... Okay, we're do Okay, there's a little bit of jumpy bumps. That's cool. That's cool. Whoa. We're going too... We're going too fast again. Karen, hold on. Okay, just relax. Just chill. We don't want to hit any rocks. We just need 50 kilometers. We don't need to go like thousands. We're full. Okay, get on the road. Stay on the road, please. This thing is so weird. Drives so weird. It's really... The steering's quicker than the other cars or something. Or maybe it's just got a lot of grip in the front. That could be too. Big engine over the wheels. Okay, there we are. Okay, little, little hop there. That's good. How fast are we going? Way too fast, <laughs> as per always. Oh, how are you guys today? Is everything going good? Whoa, whoa. Sorry there hasn't been any other videos other than this and uh, my summer car lately. But uh, like I said, BeamNG screwed up and I just need time to fix it and I've been working. So I should be able to fix it tomorrow and get a BeamNG uh, thing out there. Or maybe a new game. I haven't decided yet. Uh, all of which I like to keep there. I might do BeamNG as a once in a while series. But a lot of people wanted me to play Minecraft, and then there's a lot of people who are severely opposed to it. <laughs> they say there's too many people playing it, which I understand. So I might do a long dark one, I haven't decided. But the Kona came up, and that game's pretty cool. Oh, here we go. Stop, 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 please stop, please stop. Okay. Back it up. Okay, autosave for sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold, hold your horses there, bud. Okay. There we go. Can we sleep now? Did I just lose hubcaps? What the heck? How did that happen? Okay, whatever. Oh, we're gonna fall asleep here, get through the night. See why my hubcaps fell off. I think it's because it saved right there. Whoosh. Let's see. Okay, get out of this car. Yeah, there's hubcaps. All right, they're both my hubcaps. See, look, game, if you're going to cause problems. Oh, God. Okay, we got to get ready to collect a lot of road lotion because that's our next goal. We have all those ones. All right, road lotion. We got one. Let's see here. We got a Skoda. No, this is the, the station wagon variant of the same car I'm driving. What's this? Oh, this is gas. We need this. Well, we don't need it, but we got it. All right. Okay, let's open this up here. Put in a... Put that in there. Close that back up. What, is it a rabbit? Was that a rabbit? I see you out there, you little son of a bitch. All right. 
So order of the day is gasoline. What's this? This is just alcohol and water. Oil. Oh, we probably need a little bit of oil. Actually, we probably don't. But I wanted to polish the car again. Someone says I'm not polishing it to its full potential, which I'm hoping is not true. Oh, it's, that's not anything I want. That's not anything I want. There's banana yellow here, which is awesome. What is this? Oh, that's a little little engine for the bike. What was that? Okay. <gasps> Road lotion. Sweet. Okay. I'm going to make sure I always have a constant supply of road lotion. Because you never know, you know? Dry skin in the desert's a real thing. Especially if you have sensitive skin. I don't have sensitive skin, but some people do. And you never know what you may need. I'm never touching these boards again. They just kill you. <laughs> They're just a problem all the time. Okay, we got this explosive container. We have that. No shine. Not much here worth taking. What's under this door? Nothing. Just a couple of bumpers. All right. Okay. You're boring in here. We'll close you up. We don't want any sand getting in there. Get closed. All right. Let's hit the road. Got double road lotion. That's good. Karen's having a nap. We got road lotion in the car. Let's go. Okay. So where were we again? Okay. So we got to get to 345. That's all right. And avoid that little rock. Okay, avoid that little rock. All right, there's rocks everywhere today. Now, we want to be careful of rabbits, because <laughs> I've heard them screaming lately and haven't run into them so often. And I'm about due for a major rabbit problem. And this is just the way it's going to be. Like, it's just a, it's just a law of averages, is it? You know, that eventually you're going to run into that rabbit that kicks your ass. Because that's how it is. It always is how it is. Okay. This isn't so bad. We're going a little faster than I would like, actually, because I've had a couple of beer. <laughs> so we want to be a little bit careful. This is fine, though. And not that I ever recommend drinking and driving, but it's a video game. And if you're going to do it, this is the place to do it. Don't be doing it on the road like a fucking idiot. We don't like fucking idiots, do we? No. That's why this channel is full of smart people. And Jacob Bomberito. That's why we have a whole channel full of Jacob Bomberito. <laughs> oh, oh, slow down, car. Relax. Just chill a little bit. Holy jeez. Yeah, this engine's much better on these hills than this car. In my station wagon, I don't know if it's just because it was so laden down with stuff. But in my other car, just even in that car, it slowed it right down. Okay, we got some wind. I can hear the wind. It's picking up. Hopefully we don't have too many problems today. I'm not looking to, I'm not looking to have a super duper adventure after the poop truck stuff in the in my summer car yesterday. I saw by the way this rally game. I was on what, what was that? The Epic Game Store just looking around for free games. And um there's this rally game but it's done with like an art style and it's about the golden age of rally in the 80s. What what is that? Why is it so windy all of a sudden? What is going on? It sounds like a storm whipping up. So someone in the comments said they figured out the story is that we're actually crossed. They think what it is is we're, the world was destroyed. All the waters evaporated. We haven't recovered yet. And we're crossing the Atlantic Ocean from Europe to the United States, which would be about the right amount of kilometers if this is about 5,000. So that's kind of interesting if that is the case. Although none of this looks like underwater stuff other than the boats. And why would there be trees? But it could have been, you know, 40 or 50 years since it happened, so who knows? But then nothing would grow because it'd be all salty, wouldn't it? I don't know. But maybe they're right. That's a really cool thought, actually. I'll also explain these deep, deep, deep parts. Oh, yes. This has been... So far, it's been a... It's been a we've gone, like, 10 kilometers with nary a problem. And that is exactly how we like things to be. Okay. And if we do find some buffing stuff, we'll buff this car and see if we can uh, shine it up just a little more. Because maybe we can make it shiny. I don't know, I kind of like it, this dull, purpley Merlot color, I think. <laughs> I think it's a Merlot. Oh, I saw a rabbit. Was that a rabbit? That was a rabbit. Whoa, look at this road, man. It's just sneaking away up this hill. Look how far it goes up there. Jeez. Well, time to climb some hills, boys. All right, all right, come on. 
Gain some extra speed so we can lose it on the hills. Oh, this is this is going grand. Please, no accidents today. It's the last thing I want. All right, this is uh. Oh, it doesn't wind up the hill like I thought it did. It kind of looked like it did. Well, maybe I was wrong. This isn't the first time I'd be wrong about something. Okay, rock, rock. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're everywhere today. I'm blazing along though. Jeez, this is good. This is real good. See, I figured it out. If I could do about a buck eighty, to, you know, do a kilo three kilometers a minute, we could be done this in like 15, 15, 20 minutes, no problem. You guys won't have to suffer through 45 minutes of me chattering away. But no, it just goes on and on. Someone said in the comments too, and I like to talk about the comments, that it remind me of them when they were a kid and they were playing video games with their dad. And their dad would tell stories. Well, now I just feel like an old man, so thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. <laughs> no, no, it's a compliment. I take it as one. I'm not much of a storyteller, but I do have stories to tell. But the problem is, they're, uh, they're not good stories, you know? <laughs> I don't have good stories to tell. I just have stories to tell. Some people have adventures. I'm a boring man. Well, I had a plenty of it. I have nothing I would talk about on here. It would it would call me out for anybody who actually knew me. Oh, geez. Let's see here. Yeah, see, now we're going up that hill. I thought we were going to go up a hill. Yes, this is, this is good. I like this. This is better. No devil roads. Yeah, we don't want devil roads right now. So far, it's been a smooth driving experience. What is that? Oh, it's just a floating rock. Yeah, that's pretty normal out here. Out here in the desert. Floating rocks. And dead trees. I wonder... I wonder when I'm going to get... You know, i got to get a menu for the Olive Garden and see what's on there and see what I'm going to order when I get there. Because I know you get the unlimited breadsticks and, and salad, and that's cool. But they just try to fill you up. I just want to... Uh, Did they still that unlimited pasta deal? Because that'd be all right after driving 5,000 kilometers. Unlimited pasta? I'd go for that. Or pasta, depending where you live. I could go for that. I could go for some unlimited pasta pasta. Ooh, ooh, this is getting real quick. Oh, we're bottoming out again. Now, we don't need to hit any small rocks right now. So try to stick to the middle. There's usually less rocks dead center. This will this will be the time I die on a dead center rock. Okay, we're just gonna idle it out here. This is too fast. Slow it down. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Okay. Now we're just not on the road anymore. Okay. <laughs> this is this is not right. There we go. There we go. Oh, so I'm working on getting my 3080. It should be here at some point. And I'm still gonna get that steering wheel, but things cropped up that got in the way of it. So. I uh, recently bought a new car, and because of that, I had to pay two insurances in one month. So I got a little, I got to be a little bit careful with my money because you know I am not a rich man. But uh, so I'm just gonna wait it out for a little bit. Besides, when I get the steering wheel, I'm thinking about maybe playing some seriously competitive games, and maybe we can do a series on uh, a racing game where I start my very first episode having never played it, and then see over time if I can get better and be more competitive. Because I think that'd be kind of fun. This is too fast. Now we're squirreling off the road for some reason. All right. All right. Relax, car. Re relax. We don't need to die right now. So far, today has been pretty calm. When I break, it's pulling left. Something's pulling it left. Oh, this is going to bang. There it is. Okay. You can always tell when it's going to bang. You'll see sand right on the encroaching on the side of the road. The worse the sand encroaching is, the more the bang is going to be. Oh, we got a little house or something. What is this? Oh, it's a big house. Oh, should we stop? Should we go by? Should we should we stop in and see who's home? There it is, pulling again to the same, right? Okay. What is this here? Oh, that's a well. Okay, let me see here. Let's pull on in. This is a little bit of a, a hill down into this house here. There we go. Oh, just bottom it out. That's cool. All right. We have a trailer with wheels. We got stuff up on the roof. What are you stuck? Oh, the mirror's caught. There we go. All right, come on. There you go. Jeez. 
Now this is where I found the broom last time, was on top of one of these houses. Karen, wait here. I gotta go check for road lotion. Oh, no, we got a mirror, we got a bed. We're not a bed, a, what do you call those things? Uh, bench seat. Okay, let's see. We got more beds. Nothing in here. Oh God, don't hit me. I'm just waiting for something to hit me and die. All right, let's see. <gasps> Sponge. Try this. What's this? It's oil. It's blue paint. It's a beautiful color of blue, though. Nothing here. Sometimes there's a barrel, like, right in the corner here. All right. Well, I don't see anything else. We're parked in this long grass, too, so we're going to be super not visible. See, I can't polish this anymore. Someone said I could, and I don't... I don't see it polishing anymore. I think we're at the limit of the polish. Yeah, that's it. We're done. We can't polish this anymore. I think it's, this is just the color. Well, let's have a little sleep. We'll try it again when it's light outside. <laughs> we gotta wash the door. Karen, watch this for a sec, would you? Okay, why can't I... Okay, just do that. All right, sleep. I can't sleep yet. Oh, come on. Okay, we need to... Okay, um... Okay, that was a little weird. All right, okay, that was that was strange, all right. Let's uh, get back on the road here. That was a little weird, all right. Yeah, because there's different camera views, by the way. You can hold the camera and it zooms away, like that. And then there's above view you can do as well. Makes you look like Grand Theft Auto almost. I don't think I want to be carrying the sponge around like this. Ooh, okay, that's not good. All right. I don't think I want to be carrying the sponge while I'm trying to shift. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess we're gonna. <laughs> I guess that's what's gonna happen. Oh, this game sometimes. It's a weird game. It's such a strange world, man. And no world building other than Mr. Radio Guy. Oh, wait a minute. That's speaking of which. Hold on a sec. I want to stop for a moment. I promised myself I would do this. Okay. Let's turn this on for a sec. Okay. I need to drop this thing. Okay. I got to get out here. All right. Drop this. Drop that. All right. Now, I need this interior light for a sec. Let's see. All right, turn the radio up a little bit. Let's see, let's see. There's nothing there. Is it here I wanted? I don't know, we're gonna try this station. I can't remember what station it was now. Just so there's some background noise, here we go. Where are we at? 18. We're, so we're getting there. We're about almost halfway done. There we go. This is okay. Watch over the big rocks. But this isn't the right channel. There's another channel I listen to, and it's kind of like weird pop music. I mean, I kind of enjoy it, actually. It's kind of strangely uh, interesting. <laughs> See, you know, someone made the point, is like, are the, is the world going to be the same on my way back? I, I don't know. I don't know if it saves everything you've done or if it deletes the chunks as you move along or or what, but it'd be kind of cool if it was because I've used all the fuel up. <laughs> so getting home is going to be a bit of a different experience. A lot more stopping at ships, I can tell you that much. And a lot more uh, conserving of fuel by bringing it with me. Because at the moment, I don't have to bring any fuel with me because I run into enough of it where it's not a problem. Oh, no. This is this is too much of a hill. Every one of these ladders pulls to one side when you brake. Every lot I've driven so far, it always pulls to one side when you brake. And it sucks. Okay. Oh, this looks dangerous and looks like we're going into like an ocean. It's just all black out there. Dark black, inky blackness of the night. Oh, I wish morning would come, but I think it just turned night, so it's gonna be a little bit. Oh, I don't like this darkness. 
business. All right. We're just we're just going downhill at seven thousand miles an hour. It won't turn. It won't turn. There we go. That's a big rock. That's a big rock. All right. There we go. Around the big rock. We got rabbit. No, no, don't do that. Okay. Ugh. Look at these grass in the way. There we go. There we go. All right, here we go. Now we're on a now we're on a flat road adventure, exactly the way we like it. This game would be even more weird if the road didn't have any single bends in it whatsoever. That would be interesting. You just have to drive straight. Oh, God, it would be so boring, but at the same time, so awesome. Whoa. Okay, just relax, bud. Relax. Just calm yourself. The little tippity taps aren't working. It's turning too much when I tap. Okay, okay. There's something that's a rock. There's the moon. All right. Oh, no. This is going so fast. I just know it. Oh, there's a little rock. Little rock. Get out. Look out, rock. Coming through. Whoa. Oh. Oh, 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 there's another rock. Sometimes you drive over them by accident and it does nothing. It doesn't make your car flip or cause, an, or cause a problem and you're fine. And other times you hit them and you're sailing through the freaking air. So there's no telling how it's going to happen. But I'll tell you right now, the one thing I have learned, if you hit the brakes. Oh, there's a big building over here. If you hit the brakes as you're going over one or before you get to it. The front end sinks down, and you catch it with your bumper, and you will flip ass over tea kettle. Something to be aware of. Well, what do we got here? What do we got here? All right, let's, uh... This is not the station I wanted. There, let's try this one. I think it's this one. Okay, I just gotta be careful for rabbits. Why is there always a board across the door now? Always there's a board across the door. Every time. Okay, just gotta get in the side. Alright, this is cool. Where's the lights? There they are. Oh, that's better. Okay. Hello, Karen sister. Okay, let's see what do we got going on here. Not a whole lot. What? Why'd you bring your sister? I don't want to bring your sister. We got enough people to look at. Fine. She's so demanding all the time. Okay, come on, Karen's sister. Let's go. Who are you? Let's call you Betty Ann. All right, Betty Ann. We're going. We're going. We're coming with us. Okay. You get in the back seat. All right. I think I saw gas out back, but I kind of want to wait till it's morning. Whoa. I, I, I thought I heard, keep thinking I hear, oh, here comes the sun. Let's turn this down for a sec so we can listen for rabbits. I don't hear any rabbits. All right, there's some barrels around back and a gas container. We're going to see if that has any fuel. Where are your rabbits? Oh, that's gas. All right, shh. We're going to get you. We're going to put you in the tank. Everything's going to be wonderful. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. There we go, little gas. Oh, it's over 16 liters now, boy. All right. There is a barrel. I don't know what's in the barrel, though. We'll check. It's empty. It's so empty. Okay. That's not good. What's in here? Oh, what's this? Wait a minute. Someone said you can polish, possibly polish the barrels. Wait a minute. What if I used that brush on the barrel, right? Let's see if it'll polish the barrel. I think it said it was empty, didn't it? So no risk of explosions. All right, let's try this. That's auto save. There we go. It's auto saving. Okay, it doesn't appear to be getting any better with this. So we'll try the sponge out and see if that makes a difference. All right. I'm just curious if it actually works. That's weird. All right. Let's see if we can polish this up. No, it doesn't appear you can polish it up. 
We'll try spray if we find spray at a spot, but I don't see it polishing up any. Good to know, though. Ugh. Not that I need a fancy barrel, I guess. All right, let's go get going here. Betty Ann? Karen? Karen, you just can't sleep like this. You're taking up all the room in the car. All right. Come on, ladies, run our way. All right, let's see here. What's that over there? What is that? Is that a house? What is that? It's a building of some sort. We're going to see the road kind of is headed this way anyway, so we'll just kind of go check that. What is that? Is that a small gas station? A big gas station? What is that? Well, we'll go see. Might be a small gas station, maybe? There used to be apparently a pumpkin patch, but I haven't seen one. And I think I got rid of it with the October update last year. What is this? Is this another house? It is. It's just very well lit up. Very well lit up. All right, let's see here. Not much going on here, really. I don't see anything up there. Okay. Nothing up there. We got paint on the roof, which doesn't help me in any way. Ah, oh, forget this. It's not worth. It's not worth the uh, chance that something bad could happen. That's a road this way. Okay, road is over here-ish. There it is. I can see it in the distance. Desert crossing, going too fast. Um, don't run into anything. How far we got? Okay. Not too much further, 20 clicks or so. Turn this guy back up here. Maybe because of you guys over there we go. We got tunes, we got we got Karen and her sister. We got a trunk full of road lotion. Literally, we are ready for family vacation. Oh yes. This is the way life's supposed to be. Family vacation with, with Karen and her sister. And just like just like Karen before we got divorced, still full of hot air, you know. It oh radio is who are you calling? And uh, back on the road. All right. Hold on, Karen. We're going. Okay, look. Get, get, you're right in front of the gear shift. We're going to hit you in the nose with it. Stop it. Wow, look at this. It's just empty. Like, the, the vast emptiness of this game just blows my mind. Like, who thought of my, who thought this up? They're just like, you know what would be awesome? If you just had to drive with no traffic across complete emptiness. Like, like someone sat down and thought, this is a good idea for a game. And that guy's a flipping genius. You know, that's, that's a smart man, because this works for me. There we go. Got tunes again. The radio in this car sucks. Uh, well, I guess we don't need any, like, 15-inch Rockford Fosgate subs or anything. We're fine. The fact that we even get a radio station, and the fact we've traveled 2,000 kilometers and are still picking up the same radio stations... It's a credit to the transmitters, you know? Like, that's amazing. Apparently this world does not have a curvature to it. <laughs> oh, we got a bus stop coming up. I think that's a bus stop. Yep, looks like it. Oh, this has been a good trip today. This has been a great trip today. We haven't been attacked. We haven't been killed. We haven't lost our road lotion. We had some parts fall off our car, but is it? No, no, yeah, we did, but that was because of an autosave problem. <laughs> but it wasn't because of an accident. Things are going well. And every time I say that, things go bad. We only got 15 clicks left, and that's, that's great. Oh, yeah. Got tunes to back up our adventure. This is good. Ah. Uh. You know that I got the poop truck, by the way, in my summer car. I'm super excited about making very little money for the amount of effort it takes. You know, that's... I'm super excited about... That was a rock right there. Super excited about that. Super excited. <laughs> I don't like hauling people's poo away and making nearly no money. Because I figured it out. By the time you gas up and pay for the waste, it's going to cost you a bundle. And someone said to turn that pump off a lot sooner than I was to save space in the tank, but, you know, 
Every time I hurry in a game, something bad happens. <laughs> I try not to hurry too much. I watch this one guy play games. His name is Growmaster. I watch him play once in a while. He's a pretty good guy. Check him out. Um, and he's always in a hurry. He's always mad if stuff is like no run button or something. I'm always along the lines of, man, slower is better. Just ease into it, you know? Like, I'm the guy in, like, Grand Theft Auto or Watch Dogs or whatever that doesn't run. Like, I, I walk most places unless I need to run. And just admire the world around me. Oh, we got we got a garage. We are just friggin' sailing. Hold on, Benny Ann. I don't think there's seatbelts back there. Oh, jeez. Oh, Betty Ann. Oh, God. Oh, the, the frame rate just tanked. That means there's a, probably a lot of stuff in this building. All right. Let's take a look. Ooh, stop. Okay. Like a disco ball, my friends. This is okay, I need to shut you down for a sec so I can hear ribbits. I'm going to get this door open here. All right. You know what I should do, really? is open both doors. That way, if the rabbit comes from either side, I'm ready. Oh, we got, look at that. Look at the green on that car. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Man, this is alcohol. <laughs> we don't need that much alcohol, we'll die. Well, let's see here. Okay, there's water. Empty, empty. Coolant tank's empty. We got a bus tire here. <laughs> This can go over here and get out of our way. We got a road tire, which we do not need. A pallet, which we're not palletizing anything. I used to run a machine called a unitizer. It used to pallet everything for you. That's oil, which we should probably check our oil, actually. Well, we know it's down a little bit. Let's bring this out and we'll put that in there. Oh, we might have gas in that. We'll check that. All right. How much oil are we down? Ah, eh, four, six. We're not bad. All right, put some oil in there. Get that out of there. Close that up. All right. What are you? You're just oil and gas, which we don't want to use. I don't need that. I don't need this coolant tank. Well, we got something back there. Watch out, pallet. That is gas. Okay, it's not a lot of gas, but it's gas. I can't. I can't even get back there. <laughs> I can't get. I can't get back there to get it. There we go. Let's pick this up like this. All right, see? Sometimes you find things worth finding. There we go. We're over 16 liters now. See, we gain gas every trip, even if it isn't a lot. All right. I like the compass on the hood idea, though. That's working for me. I don't see any... Oh, there's some road lotion. Oh, there's two road lotions here. This is, this is great. Oh, my God. This is so much road lotion. Who doesn't need road lotion? That's a real question. <sighs> All right. Get out there. All right. Oh my god, three road lotions. Oh, this is this is this is this is wonderful. You can like why is there so much road lotion here? What are these guys doing up in this joint? All right. Let's get this up. All right. You need to, Okay, don't say Ray would always pick things up it saves. It, see and then it's trying to escape. Come here. Road lotion 1. You know everybody has an opinion on what this is. Some people say it's a fire extinguisher. Some people say it's a seltzer bottle. Apparently you can spray it, but I don't see it. See, I can't spray it with this, but that's not the point. <sighs> Ooh, that was loud. We got five, six road lotions now. Karen, we're going to be road lotion kings. All right. We're getting close. About nine kilometers or so. There we go. See, yeah, the car didn't buff anymore. After I polished it, so I don't. I think it's at its maximum buff buffness, <laughs> Sh shininess. Is that what we're gonna call it? Nah, buffness is better. You're at your maximum buffitude for the day. You can't have any more buff. Okay, that's cool. Thanks, guy. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, don't do, don't you do it. It's so funny when you get away from those big garages that have a lot of stuff. Suddenly the frame rate picks up. And what's even weirder is that like it's not like I'm it's not like I'm rocking a crappy system. Like I got a thirty nine fifty. AMD 3950, and they got a 2080 Ti. So like, I'm, I'm rocking a 32 gigabytes of RAM. Like I'm rocking a pretty good system here, and it still starts chugging when there's a lot of stuff. I'm assuming it's just the way the physics get calculated. That seems to be the norm with games that slow down. It's always the physics. Now, if your game's really well threaded and you got you know 12 or 16 cores, 
then yeah, it should work fairly well, but I don't think this game is super duper threaded great. It is made in Unity, and Unity is, Unity is known for a lot of things, but, uh, whoa, that rock was close. Uh, efficiency is not one of them. It's not bad, it's just not the most efficient engine. It has got a good looking game engine. Crytek, man. That Cry engine. <laughs> that thing is that thing's so good looking when they want it to be. There ain't too many game engines that look better than that. Or though you can always make Hideo Kojima. He makes great game engines and then makes these weird, stupid games that everybody obsesses over. It's like, oh, he's a genius. No, he's an idiot. He, his games don't even make sense half the time. I like, it isn't like I'm some guy that's like, oh yeah, I'm not gonna try to understand. Like Death Stranding? That was a stupid game. I don't care what anybody says. That was a stupid, stupid game. Like, like, and, and literally, this is like Death Stranding. You're just driving, just like you're walking in that game, trying to save humanity. But like, and the graphics are great, but the controls are wonky, and it's it's just, it's not a good game. Like, it's, it's not the worst thing, and I'm glad they tried something different, but it just, it didn't work. It did not work. But then again, I have a problem with some games everybody, every, people really enjoy. Like The Last of Us. Oh, God, that was close. The Last of Us. Good game. Not great. There's better games with better stories than The Last of Us that exist by a lot. And it didn't deserve the praise it got. Like, it was a good game. Don't get me wrong. Don't, don't all brigade me in the comments and tell me how awful I am. But, like, it was a good game. It just wasn't this amazing story thing like it was the story was predictable like you knew where it was gonna go it was violent when it didn't need to be and not that i'm opposed to like a good shooter or something but like just unnecessarily so at times you know it just it was not this savior of the playstation that people think it is i just i don't believe so it was a good game though i enjoyed it what's that other one that came out there with uh Oh, the one that the robotic dinosaurs. This is how much I care about it. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but I played that. I recently got that. It came out on the PC. Yeah, not. Um, it was okay. It was like again, it was good, but it wasn't great. Now, then, this is in the comments. People inevitably ask, "Oh, what do you think's a great game?" You want to know what's a great game? I'll tell you what a great game is, because you can look by some of its faults and say it's great. Half Life Two. That's a great game. The story works, the, the protagonist is great, it's funny and yet somehow poignant. And remember, it was written, you know, it's getting close to 20 years old now. But for an even older game, um, Chrono Trigger, that was a great game. Like, it was great, the story wor uh, the story worked. That was a great game. Um, for modern games, what's a great game? <sighs> Let me see. There isn't too many really stand out, oh my god, this game is amazing games. But for a standard, everyday, regular, regular game, what's a great game? Hmm. Oh, let me think. Let me think. I love the story in the original Watch Dogs, but the gameplay was a little bit eh, and the game ran like crap no matter what kind of system you had at the time. But the story is cool. A little bit floaty later on. But yeah, not, not a great game, just a good game. Um, whoa, rock, rock, oh god, oh! Um, I can't even think of them. That, that's how bad great games are right now. There just isn't games that stand out and are freaking incredible. There are a lot of good games. A lot of good games. But nothing great. Grand Theft Auto V was good. The story was good and the gameplay was good. But it's getting a little worn. Like, the, the way they they do the game is a bit... It's starting to wear on me. Like, okay, you know what a great game was? Because, again, it was a bit different. It was Red, Red, uh, Red Dead Redemption, uh, the first one. That's a fairly modern game. But even the second one is an excellent game. Because it's different, you know? Like, it is Grand Theft Auto on horseback. But it's on horseback. And you don't get a lot of cowboy games, so that's really neat. And one of my big problems, I'll tell you right now, let's have a little bit of discussion. One of my biggest problems with games is, especially first-person shooters, why the fuck do I always end up somewhere tropical? Why is it always tropical? And then Far Cry 5 comes along and is like, you know, we're going to do this in, like, the American... Midwest, like Montana. And I was like, this is great. Do that. And everybody's like, oh, that one sucks. It's like, I don't want to go back to another fucking island with more fucking palm trees. I hate it so much. Oh, I'm sick and tired. Like, why can't it be something different? That's all it, that's all it ever is. That's all, wait a minute. We're above our kilometer mark. Well, this is good. All that complaining got us somewhere. Oh, God, Karen's other sister. Oh, no. Oh, come on, Karen. Other. Uh, 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 a little bit of a stroke. Okay, there we go. 
All right, who are you? Um, we have Betty Ann. We got Karen. Who are you going to be? I'm going to call you Jacob Bomberino. No, you're going to be Jenna. No, wait, that's a comment person too. Shit. Um, ooh, we're going to call her Tara. That's that's Tara. There we go. More gas? Yes, this we made her 50. Sorry I complained so much about video games there at the end. I just thought, you know, it's good to have discussions. That, that's a unicorn person. Um, that's a little fucked up. Okay. Is that PewDiePie? That could be PewDiePie, but it's not. It's the same dude. Rabbits. You fuck off, rabbit. Get out of here. Go away. Okay, just... Oh, I don't want to kill you. I know you're, I know you're a good rabbit. All right, you're fine. You're just a little wounded. You'll be all right. Okay, so I think I'm going to end this episode here. There's 50k. It was 55k almost. We are at our destination. So thank you so much for watching again. There's a bat here. That's a little weird. If you like this, please leave a comment. Maybe subscribe. Hit the little bell if you care to get more notifications from me about things that are up and coming. Someone has set up a Discord for me, and I will be posting that link at some point in the next day or so when I get around to it. Um, probably in the community section and probably at the bottom of videos from that point forward. But I want to talk to him first to make sure he's okay with it and see what he wants to do because it is his Discord server. So, again, thank you so much for watching. Love every view I get. Scapegoat. The night is upon us again. I love it. Out.